my name is Cindy and this is my very first YouTube video. I'm going to start streaming on YouTube and I thought probably the best way to begin would be to spend my first video introducing myself. So I am Cindy and I live in Palm Springs, California. And in fact, I'm going to be going by the name Palm Springs Cindy. And I have lived in Palm Springs for, well, since 1973. I came to Palm Springs as a new teacher um, and taught for Palm Springs Unified for 34 years. I had a great teaching career, wonderful teaching experiences, and I've actually taught every grade that is possible to teach partly because I have one of those old credentials that was actually signed by Ronald Reagan, who was our governor at the time here in California. So I taught for Palm Springs Unified, and I also married a, a man who was born and raised in Palm Springs, and we have been married for 38 years. We have a daughter who also teaches here in Palm Springs. In fact, she teaches special ed. I have a dog who is just the love of my life. She is wonderful. She's a little multi-poo, and you'll be getting to know um, Shelby as well. Um, so, um, I, like I said, I taught for Palm Springs Unified for 34 years, and, and then I was ready to retire. And I've been retired for eight years. But when I retired, it was not really an easy transition for me. I was a real fish out of water after being so, such a worker for so many years. I was a real worker bee and very scheduled and very disciplined. And, and so once I retired, I found that um, it was hard to retool myself and reinvent myself, and it's taken a little bit of time. In fact, retirement is gonna be one of the segments I wanna talk about in one of my videos later on. But in the meantime, um, a few years after I retired, I had an accident. I fell down a flight of stairs and I broke my leg really badly. So I was housebound for about three months, like in bed, stay off your feet for three months. And it was at that time that I, you know, I was able to read and watch TV, but I was, um, I, that's the time I really started putzing around on my computer. And that's when I discovered all these great tutorials about makeup and how to, how to, you know, blend your makeup, how to, how, what makeups to use, what skincare products to use. And I loved them because I'm a girly girl and I love to primp and, and um, play around with makeup and hairdos and things like that. But I was watching how-to videos from, made by these, made by, you know, older teens and ladies in their um, 20s. And so, you know, I had to modify what I was learning from them. Now, um, like I, can't wear three different colors of eyeshadow on my eyes and I can't um, sculpt my face with those dark colors and dark powders to make your facial features prominent. It just does not work for me and plus um, I'm probably doing it all wrong anyway. But uh, I eventually found th some of the older gals on YouTube, women my age. Um, and they were also doing tutor tutorials, and they were also sharing what I call their lotions and potions. And um, and I didn't have to modify things anymore, and I, I really valued what these ladies had to say and what these ladies had to share because they were older. They were, um, you know, well, they were my generation. And, um, and I heeded, I heed their advice. If they're sharing a certain, uh, um, like face wash or a certain foundation or a certain hair tool or something, I have gone out and bought it. Be and I have been glad I did because I have saved money because what they recommend, you, if it works for them, it's going to work for me on my aging skin as well. So, um, 
But I also have to say that almost more than the the tutorials about, you know, the different lotions and potions, I've enjoyed hearing about their life circumstances, their heartfelt conversations about their feelings getting older and how they're doing that gracefully and how they um, feel a bit ignored by the media and by the merchandisers and what it feels like for them to be 60, 65, 70, 75 because um, I am really having trouble wrapping my brain around the fact that I am 65 years old. When did that happen? And um, I'm having some trouble accepting that. But when I hear rock star mom, Lana, um, Natalie, the beauty diva, so many other beautiful women talk about aging and and what it means to them or certain certain little stories about their lives or whatever. It is extremely comforting to me and it encourages me and it makes me feel like and know that I'm, I am not alone. I'm not the only one that's aging and it makes me feel better. It, it, it just validates that I'm not the only one that sort of struggles with that and finds it that, and finds that I can move through it gracefully and, and in a nice way. So I want to thank all of you ladies for really sharing your conversations, not just about products and tutorials, but about your feelings about aging. Um, I, I needed to hear that. And also, I would like to say that I, when I was housebound, and then ap actually last week I sprained my ankle, so I was housebound again, um, I realized how valuable YouTube is as a resource for people that are housebound. Because because of my YouTube friends and because of, of you ladies who are 65, 60, 50, in their late 50s, 70s, I felt like I had friends that I could talk to. Even though I had to be off my feet, I still felt like I, in a way, I was outside. I felt like I went to TJ Maxx with you, Rockstar Mom. I loved your commentaries while you were sitting in the car. And I think that YouTube is valuable to a lot of people that maybe are housebound or are recovering from surgery or whatever. So I think that that YouTube can be a wonderful forum for people to learn and converse and grow and to be encouraged by other people that are in their circumstances or whatever. So at any rate, I um, have been listening and watching to all, a lot of you ladies, and, and I thought, well, shoot, that looks like fun, and I think I want to do that too. So here I am, and um, I want to be part of the conversation, the conversation of aging, the conversation of uh, being 65, what that looks like, what that sounds like, what that means to be, what it means to be 65 in a world that values youth and um, health and vitality. And so, um, so anyway, I am thrilled to be starting my channel. Please look up, at, look for Palm Springs Cindy. And um, I, I thank you for, for watching me, for joining me in my living room this evening. And I look forward to many more conversations. Thank you.